All right, let's get another check of your weather with Drew Reeves. Drew, thank gosh it is better weather today. Yeah, oh, we needed oh. that break. Yes. It has been several days now of uh, pretty active weather here in the Pacific Northwest, and it is nice to get a break. 47 degrees here in Vancouver on our Mary Hill Winery Tasting Room and Bistro Camera. Winds only 8 miles per hour. Pretty cloudy, but we have seen some sun breaks through the day today. Here in Dayton, we're getting a little bit of a shower as well. You can see the ground looking wet with those raindrops on the camera. Some sunshine, 46 degrees on our Stoller Family Estate camera. So we really just have pretty spotty light showers kind of right around Portland, just east of Battleground as well, and then up towards Vernonia into the coast range, a little bit of wet weather. There have been spots in the metro that have had measurable rainfall. Aurora uh, and Salem getting two hundredths of an inch. Kelso eight hundredths, but Scappoose Hillsboro just a hundred there. Nothing in the Portland area, but my goodness, that is a relief after the past uh, few days. I mean, really, since we've had that ice storm, we obviously had a bit of measurable rainfall when we were seeing all that freezing rain and ice. But then the last two days, we just got hammered with that rain Monday and Tuesday. 6.83 inches for the month of December so far. That's more than we would normally see in the month of December. We've got a few days left where we'll still see some rainfall and typically we would be just over five inches at this point. So we had over three inches between the two days in Portland, over three inches in Tillamook, Lincoln City over four inches. Corvallis was a drier spot and it was 1.6 inches. So those two days were really, really heavy rainfall. And then that combined with those winds we got yesterday was why we saw so many down trees and power outages because these wind gusts themselves would normally not cause that big of issues. But with that saturated ground, it was kind of a recipe for disaster. 54 mile per hour wind gusts around Aurora Airport, Portland Airport, 48 mile per hour wind gusts. So very strong winds mixed with that really, really wet ground. Today, oh, much relief. We're just seeing really light showers through the day, but then into tomorrow morning, we see the return of some steady rain before we break apart into showers for much of the day, and then steady rain returns before we're a lot drier for the day on Friday. Friday, I think we'll see just a few showers and then kind of overnight into Saturday morning, but I would definitely expect more dry than wet on both Friday and Saturday. Temperatures mostly in the upper 40s, although Friday just slightly warmer, low 50s there. And then Sunday, your New Year's Day should be dry. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to get any rain and temperatures in the mid to upper 40s, about 46 here in Portland. We're cooling down a bit as we head early into next week. Low 40s, we'll see a few showers returning as well. But through the whole seven day forecast, our high temperatures pretty mild, at least around average or a little bit above. And those overnight lows really mild as well.